What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to do a comparison of the X Transbots Ratliff with the Takara Tomy Masterpiece Ratchet. So these came out quite a few years apart. This is from 2016 and this guy here just came out in 2024 September. So nearly eight years apart. Recently I was looking at doing a comparison of the brand new fans toys scrapper with the toy world and somebody said oh it's so old it's too many years apart this is way more years apart than that is but anyway i'm going to do that comparison as well so stay tuned for that but as i always mention with these comparisons i try to be as objective as possible of course there's subjectivity involved when you're comparing things so if i pick one and you prefer the other then you win i really try to do these comparisons to help people decide what direction they want to go with in their collection and one little caveat with this uh, comparison, I have the Shadow Fisher upgrade kit. So the original has hip skirts down here uh, with the wheels. And now this has gotten rid of that piece with the wheels. So it looks a lot better. Uh, but just that caveat is, hey, this isn't fully stock. It's got that, that upgrade on it. Other than that, though, it is uh, the stock figure. So... With that being said, let's get started. We'll start off with accessories. All right, here are all the accessories they come with, and it's a crazy amount. I believe X-Trans is going to win. It's pretty obvious. But let's go through them just so you can see which ones are the same and which ones are different. They both come with a sled for storage of the weapons. The X-Trans one has wheels. It does roll. So a little more robust on that stand. They both come with this missile launcher on the back. The x Transos one actually fires. It's got a spring-loaded thing, whereas the Takara one is just, you know, you just pull it out. But they're both done in chrome. They both come with a blast effect here, kind of meant for him welding something or fixing something. Very different looks, though. They both come with the rounded style gun. Now, I was surprised to see the difference in the size. For some reason, the Takara one is huge, but... Same thing. They both come with this gun, the larger handgun. Now the x Transos one has this uh, blast effect on it. Oh, it does remove. Okay, I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure if this came off or not. Looks like it does. So I guess you can use this on other things. But I guess I'm going to keep this because it is an extra accessory. <laughs> they both come with this welding piece here. Uh, X Transbots went for the chrome on it, but very similar. We get the welding gun here. They both come with a hand attachment. Uh, I guess all of these come off, I guess. I didn't realize that. And done differently, different style. But they both have that. They both come with two wrenches. Can't have ratchet without wrenches. They both come with this extra tool from that one episode. And let's see. We both come with extra faces. Now, x comes with a bunch. We just get the one for Takara. And we've got two extra faces here. On the bottom, I'll just take them off. I just did a short showing you how to store all this stuff. I'm going to set this aside. Let's set this one aside. And we still have some things left to go. So we have two guns in this style. I'll count those off with these two blast effects. And we get the chest piece here. Now this one is just a piece of cardboard that actually sticks in. I actually never display him without it because it covers up the inside. This one, it doesn't really work, in, in my opinion, because it covers up the chest in such a way that it's not transformable. So, but they both have it. So, I'll count those off. And then we get a sticker set for Takara. So, if you want to have different styles of logos, you can do that. And you can also put it on the, the ambulance mode. So, I'll count that off with uh, these accessories here for the star screen. And here's what you're left with. X Transbots destroys the car. They've got four extra heads, two extra faces. 
a chemistry set with three pieces, two skis, although they don't work very well, and this uh, soldering iron. So we're going to give accessories over to X-Ray. All right, next we'll talk about the gimmicks on these two. And in robot mode, there isn't really all that much. They both have the plug-in weapons that plug into the arms. In vehicle mode, the Takara does have a flip-out adapter that allows you to plug in the gun on the top, which I think is pretty cool. It wasn't in the show, but it is neat that you can store the weapons. So I'm going to give gimmicks over to Takara. All right, next we'll talk about the cartoon accuracy and the sculpt. In order to that, we'll put the G1 image there so you can take a look for yourself. And this one's pretty easy for me to call it. I'm going to give it to X Transbots on the cartoon accuracy. But the only thing I think they maybe have missed is this little silver piece here. But because they have the headlights here, they got all this detail here on the front. Um, there's a lot of things that are just off on the Takara. I think the legs, the proportions are a little off too. Thin thighs, but then big lower legs. Upper body also a little disproportionate compared to the cartoons. I'm going to give accuracy over to X Transbots. I'm going to give them sculpt as well. It's pretty clean, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here on the side, and if you have the stock figure without the Shadow Fisher upgrade like I have here, then you've got more kibble here on the side. Back is about the same on both, although you do have the butt wheels on the Takara. So again, that kind of sets them back in the sculpt department. So I'm going to have sculpt over to, to, to X Transbots as well. All right, next, let's talk about the paint and build on these two. When it comes to the paint, I was kind of surprised because X Transbots pretty much 100% painted. As far as I can tell, there's a finish all throughout. The white, the blue, the red here on the, on the shoulder, and the red on the waist, on the crotch. The Takara is not fully painted. You do have red paint here on the crotch and a painted face just like this one but there's a lot of unpainted surfaces this especially is uh, kind of unsightly because it's a different color plastic the white is a shiny white plastic it's not paint so although the x transbus does have a lot of paint chipping when you transform it you will see white paint chips coming off i am going to give it to x transbus they just have more paint and it is uh just better done overall so we're gonna give them paint when it comes to build quality though i gotta give it to takara the the I guess transbots is really quite um flimsy um that's one of the issues is this this ab crunch that doesn't stay tucked when you transform it you feel like it's gonna break there's a very thin piece of plastic you got this going on the takara after all these years eight years is still solid i don't have any problems with it so Despite the lack of premium uh, look and lack of die cast, there's no die cast on this, although there is on this, I am going to give build quality over to Takara. I just think it's a more solid and well-designed thing. All right, next, let's take a look at the articulation on these two. So I'll articulate each one individually. The x Transbots has the head on a ball joint and a rotating solo, so it gets up to there, down to there. You do get side to side, and it rotates around. If you lift it up too much, it will pop off. So just watch out for that. Shoulders rotate around on a friction joint out to the side on a ratchet. It goes all the way around. You do have a butterfly joint. And that is strictly a butterfly. It's not meant for transformation. You have a double jointed elbow. One is at the shoulder and one is at... And this is such a problem. Uh, but double jointed elbow gets you all the way up to there. Rotation at the wrist, in and out movement at the wrist. Individually articulated pointer finger and the other three are on two pins together. Thumb is on a swivel and two pins. I'm not a big fan of the thumb, but the fingers do work. Coming down to the waist, we have a waist rotation. It feels horrible, so just give it some support because it's a die cast piece and then that little teeny tiny white piece. So be careful, but it does rotate there. I'm not going to call this an ab crunch. I think this is a failed transformation joint to be honest because you can't it doesn't hold position so that it, it doesn't really serve the purpose of an app crunch uh, and it feels very flimsy so I, I'm just not going to count it as a, as a crunch but definitely has a swivel for the weight the legs you have a kick up to there back to there out to the side rotation of the thigh around the universal 
You have a double jointed knee, gets you the full bend. You do have to open up this panel here though. So it's a little bit of a, a cheat. Ankle tilt out to there and pivot forward and backward. I did have to tighten the screw, but it is better now that I've tightened that screw. Moving on to Takara. We have the head on a ball joint as well. So forward and backward, side to side and rotates around. Shoulders rotate around on a ratchet joint. Out to the side on a ratchet joint. Same kind of system, I was, I was surprised at that. You have a rotation here at the bicep. Single jointed elbow gets you 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist. Single pin for the hands, not individually articulated. They're all connected there. So you don't have that like you do with these transbots. Rotation at the waist, uh, no ab crunch, which shocked me. I couldn't, I didn't remember that, but there is no ab crunch. Legs kick up to there, back to there, out to the side, although this movement is probably helped by the fact that we got rid of that side piece. Rotation of the thigh around a universal. Single jointed knee, gets you 90 degrees. Ankle tilt, uh, and pivot forward and backward. So because of the double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, articulated hands, we're gonna give it over to X Transbots. All right, next we'll talk about the transformation and engineering on these two. And when it comes to transformation, that is always the downfall of X Transbots. No different here. This transformation is awful. Not fun and very scary because there's the parts that feel like they're gonna break. The Takara, I transformed without even looking at the instructions. It's been years, years since I transformed it. And I transformed it very easily with no instructions uh, back and forth several times. So I'm going to give transformation to them. I'm also going to give engineering to Takara. I think they um, nailed the, the fun factor. And it really, it cleans up pretty well. I think it could have been better. Uh, but the engineering on this is just a mess. You know, they just really, they need to rethink some of the hardware and some of the design decisions, they could be a top tier company because this looks really good. It's a great looking ratchet, but some of the design issues really get in the way. And that's why I'm gonna give engineering over to Takara. All right, and there they are in their alt modes. And I'll put the image there so you can take a look. And both similar shapes and sizes, although the approach is different. Obviously, Takara went with the translucent blue windows Whereas x transots went with the painted windows. I do think I like the translucent better, but it does, the painted ones does hide the internals a lot better. I just think this looks more realistic. They both have a painted windshield wipers, chromed headlights and bumper, and orange marker lights. They both have the red stripe. On, from this angle, from this side, I think this is where the marked difference is. Both of them have panel lining due to the transformation. But the Takara, the way they did it, the panel lines cut across like the window, the door, and they're vertical or horizontal. The x transmits chose some really odd angles. And so this shows up a lot more when you're looking at it, like this angle here, this angle here, little tabs that stick out from the van. This cut right back here, I can't get it to close up perfectly, but there's a hole there. So just little things like that, I think, make the x transbots a little bit uglier. I do like some of the things they did, like, for example, the rear view mirrors are nice. The die cast wheels and rubber tires are nice. These are plastic. But I'm going to give it to Takara. I just think it's a cleaner overall alt mode, especially with some of these cuts and breaks up, breakups throughout the uh, vehicle on the x transbots. All right, next, let's take a look at the cost on these two. And as I always mention, I use the Aegis 3 and up website for my prices since they don't monkey with the prices after they put them up. And I was really surprised by this one. I did not know what the price was for this because I didn't buy it for myself. This was sent to me by Ricky G. And on the Aegis 3 and Up website, this comes in to $180 retail. This one was originally $100 retail. I decided to look up and see, you know, what is a modern masterpiece. I looked at the most recent masterpiece hoist, which is the, the prior figure that has come out that was $165 so even at the new price point the Takara is going to win on cost and the final factor here is the members choice category we ask my members which one they prefer just based on their own personal preferences and no other factors 
And you can see that the X Transbots is going to win the Member's Choice category. So final thoughts on the comparison. You can see the score there. And to my surprise, it's a tie. I did not think this was going to come out as a tie. But it is interesting. You know, X Transbots made what is arguably a very good looking figure. It, it They really captured the character. But just like X Transbots always does, if they, they fail on the quality. They fail on the overall build materials. Um, and just the engineering and the design, right? They really need to figure out how to get the proper hardware and the proper design so that they can support good-looking figures like this. You know, you get a ton of accessories, way more than even Takara, which usually comes with a ton of stuff, right? You get all of the stuff you need. They just need to figure out the engineering. That's where they fall down. Uh, for me personally, I'm not planning to get this. I'm going to stick with the Takara. Uh, and maybe another one will come along, like the fans' toys or whatever. But for now, I'm, I'm content with this. I, I just can't stand messing with this thing. It's so floppy and flimsy. Um, it does look good, but it's it's not for me. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Ricky G for sending this out for review, and we'll see you next time.